came in the post. Uh, Cadbury Almond Bar, which... Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice and I recently turned 28 years old. Yes, it's very old. I was at work on my birthday, so that was quite normal, standard. But on the Friday I took annual leave and I went to the Balmore show with my dad. So that's kind of like a big country, farming, agriculture, food sort of show. We were there for a long time, maybe like seven and a half hours. So we were, just were there for the full day and I really enjoyed that. I do like going to those sort of things. And then yesterday was Saturday night and the boyfriend took me out for a cocktail. I can't remember what I got, some sort of acidic thing. And then we went out for dinner. We went to this vegan plant-based place called Juman, really tasty, which I recommend. And then we went to somewhere called Margot, Margot, yeah, went there for another cocktail, yeah. Got home at like 10, so a little bit of a late night for me, but it was a good 28th birthday, it's a very good boyfriend. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the presents. As you can see here, I have a big, beautiful bunch of flowers, which the boyfriend bought for me. He bought them from a place called Reeds Florists. Yeah, so it's a premier florist in Belfast came in like a massive thing and they were like standing up on this with their water and then came with some plant food and also this ribbon which is nice yeah he requested uh purple flowers so these are like carnations i don't know what these are but these are fun uh got two roses three lilies some sort of purpley prickly thistles these look good and also these which he knows are like eucalyptus grassy things and also some ferns yes yeah, so i'm pleased it's a little bit of greenery as well as all the flowers and it's a humongous bunch of flowers but I'm actually like so pleased with these. I never thought I'd be the sort of person that likes flowers because it's a little bit of a wasteful thing but I do really like them. Yeah so as well as taking me out for cocktails and dinner and buying me all these flowers he also got me this big bag of presents which is like bits and bobs of like random things. So we've got Coca-Cola Zero Sugar vanilla flavour which he knows I like and it's very hard to actually find for some reason but yeah a large bottle of that and then oh, he got me a towel so he said he got this from Amazon it's a microfiber towel in the colour it's bohemian bohem, bohem flower yeah so this is what it looks like One side is like this sort of print, and then the other side is the flowers. Yeah, so it's actually pretty big, and it is a microfiber towel. I'm like not 100% convinced, but I'm going to maybe try it in the shower and stuff. Because I'm going away a few times this year, so I'm not sure if I would want to take a normal towel or if this would be sufficient. Because this would be like a massive space saver, rather than having to take a fluffy towel in the suitcase. Yes. And then, the other big present were these new sound true in-ear wireless headphones which were designed in England and made in China. Anyway, so Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I'm always a bit sceptical of these sort of things because I think they're full of mate, space more ears. And also, I'm a bit of a laggard when it comes to technology. But I'm going to try and get with the times and start using wireless. Because I have wireless big headphones. But I prefer to use the wire. But anyway, I'm going to try charging these up and actually using them. Yeah, then he also got me some of this Cadbury Plant Almond Bar. My sister bought me some of this when I went over to England for my graduation ceremony. And I told the boyfriend that I liked it. And he remembered. And I'm actually really pleased because this is like the best dairy-free milk chocolate I've actually ever tasted in my life. So yeah lessons and then also these um he got one of these tribe bars and this is kind of like a vegan version of a snicker yeah pleased with that and then he also got me three yankee candles he's such a good boyfriend anyway so this one is sakura blossom festival mm. yeah so it sort of like smells like blossom there it is. And then he also got me two others. There's a, another 
uh, Pink Sands, which I have in my car as the air freshener. And then also Clean Cotton, which is another one that I like. I quite like the kind of like more subtle Yankee smells. Unless it's winter and then I like gingerbread, but other times of year these ones are great. And then the last thing in this big bag are these Nan's whole grain oat cakes, which is a bit of a random present, but yeah, he seems to think I like oat cake, which I do, but I prefer the, the like sweet ones with chocolate chips or berries. But these are like savoury version. Yeah, so and then you. Yeah, so excited to try these as well. Now I'm going to move on to the presents that my family got me. So my dad got me like a massive 26 pack of Sharpie pens. I don't know what he expects me to do with all these permanent pens. I said I might like grinding across her forehead when she's not looking. I'm off my like extra fine line. Yeah, there they are. I don't know, I have had a Sharpie before. I don't tend to use them much. I think it's because they bleed through paper. But I'm going to have to try and find some things that need permanent marking because I would like to use these and it's good to have so many different colours. And then my dad also got me two packs of Benedict's Vitamin Chocolates. So yeah, these ones which are good because they're like accidentally vegan, don't contain any milk. Yeah, so two of those which I do like a lot. And then I think he's also going to give me some money. Then my mum got me four secondhand books. One of them is currently with a boyfriend which is like the farewell country version. He keeps forgetting to give it back to me because I was going to include it in this haul. Anyway, I've got three other books here. Uh, this Letters to My Fanny, which is a rude title. It's a very funny book, I've already read it because she gave it to me a few weeks ago. Yeah, weird, but it does um, touch on some very important topics that affect a woman. And then this Sophie Kinsella book, which I read over Easter, that was another present. Uh, not particularly keen on this. And this Braids, Buns and Twists book, which I have tried a couple of hairstyles out from, but I need to try some more and I, I'm going to keep this as a reference because there's literally so many hairstyles and all diagrams and all the photos. And I like rate them by the difficulty level and all the things you need and yeah, good reference. And then Mum also got to me a emerald necklace from a jeweler's so it's the May birthstone there my little brother who is 22 bought me this Joanna Bassford book Worlds of Wonder he ordered this on Amazon and it came with a little note which was good yeah I think my sister intervened got him to buy this I've requested it before yeah so I'm very pleased with this because I have got the like enchanted forest one but it's just a lot of greens this one has some really good pictures which will involve some more colours. I might try using the Sharpies. But I just think the Sharpies are going to go through. But I have got other pens that I like to use. Yes, I'm really looking forward to this and doing some mindful colouring in. Thanks. My sister bought me another book from Amazon. She bought me this book called More Than a Body. Um, I heard a few people talking about it on Instagram and social media and it's got loads of good reviews. So I might actually start reading this this afternoon. Yeah. I just think it looks like a good book and I'm going to definitely be keeping this as a reference. And then my sister also bought me a lollipop box club thing. So I'm covering my name and address with my hand. But yeah, it's like a scrapbooking and card making and like a stickers set. She's ordered quite a few things from them. Yeah, so really cute. And I did do an unboxing haul of this, so I will link that below. But yeah, super excited to start using this. Then the third thing that my sister bought me was this metal comb, which I specially requested. It's for like a horse's mane, or, oops, or it's, um, it'd be good for like trimming their legs. So if you like go through this and then snip off the excess hair. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to using this. This, I don't know where she bought this from. My aunt got me this make your own hanging unicorn set which is definitely aimed more for six year olds but I don't know I think she sometimes thinks I get bored and need to find something to do so yeah I could do this and I don't know, like, it's not a very grown up present because I'm turning 28 
but I it is the sort of thing I would use. It comes with a plastic needle. I'm probably going to upgrade to a normal metal needle. But yeah, this should keep me entertained for a few hours one day when I get bored. Yeah, so I got money for my birthday from my granny, my dad, one of the aunts, and also the boyfriend's mum even got me money, which is very nice of her and nice of all these people. Yeah, so I'm going away in a few weeks on a holiday, so the money will be used for that, I think. And I've also bought a couple of books on Amazon, which are like books for myself, presents for myself. So I've got this book, which is Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before? So Dr. Julie Smith is a sort of famous person on TikTok. She's a psychologist, I think, or psychiatrist. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to starting to read this and understanding a bit more about psychology and why we do things that we do. And then I bought another book on Amazon which will also be a good reference book and it is this skincare book by Caroline Hirons and I have wanted this for at least a couple of years. It is a proper solid book and I really like it. I have read some reviews of people saying it's a little bit too basic but it's not too basic for me because I haven't really followed much of her blog or YouTube and things. But yeah, it goes through everything and has it's all like nicely laid out, it's got pictures and it's just really informative and it's got the sort of products you might want to buy. So yeah, I started reading this and so far I'm enjoying it and I've learned a few things. Yeah, so that's it. I can't believe I'm 28. I never thought I would get this old. Like when I was a kid, I just it seemed like so, so far away. I think 30 would be more of a shock to the system because that's like getting really old. But yeah. Thank you for watching, I'm very happy with all these presents, everyone has been very good to me and I'm really pleased with these presents, particularly the presents from my boyfriend and family and well basically everything I'm pleased with. Yeah, so thank you for watching, bye, if you like it give it a thumbs up and bye.